And you should be also, and you must be proud of your latest one called Altars of Unhewn Stone. Yeah. Well, that's a bunch of my essays that I had put together. And I liked in the introduction how you said, and, and I remember, uh, uh, let me just check my notes, that you wrote 11 originated out of irritation, 3 out of joy, 4 for your own clarification. Yeah. I thought that was marvelous. When you say originated out of irritation, uh, what things particularly irritate you? Well, what we have in American agriculture, and even yet in 1990, We've got a lot of satisfied men, and I guess I have to add women, that um, often will begin by, I was raised, born and raised on a farm. You'll hear it in a, in a panel, or you'll hear it somewhere in public. That's supposed to be validation that they can speak ex cathedra mm -hmm. about, I just heard it two days ago really? down at, William, uh, down at uh, William and Mary from a high USDA official. And um, the satisfaction, uh, look, the Palouse has lost some years 200 tons of soil per acre. Mm -hmm. Western Iowa, 18 tons uh, of soil just heading toward New Orleans and the Gulf. We've lost our rural schools, our rural churches, rural baseball. We've lost uh, a way of life. And the fundamental question that I think this culture needs to ask right now is the Jeffersonian ideal of the family farm and rural community mere nostalgia, or is it a practical necessity? And uh, we have people that work for the USDA that say they're not interested in saving agriculture. What they want is a food producing system. Mm -hmm. And they'd be delighted to have biomass parked outside of cities that could be uh, beat up and squeezed and turned into um, Pills some, or something. something that we would just uh, eat, you know, or it, in other words, it's, it's energy and nutrition, but the cultural part of it's gone. Well, these are kind of technological fundamentalists. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like the religious fundamentalists, and fundamentalism takes over where thought leaves off, mm -hmm. it seems to me. So uh, what I think we have to beat back in the culture is this whole, whole notion of fundamentalism, or this whole um, action of it. So. Um, how can a nation stand by and watch the demise of these rural communities and this displacement of people? Uh, Marx had talked about rural idiocy. Well, now we have more urban idiocy than, as a problem mm -hmm. than rural idiocy was ever a problem. Uh, so the idiocy of rural life, he called it. Well, so uh, I also am enough of a rural chauvinist to believe that um, kids that have been raised in shopping malls and Little League that uh, have not really learned the, um, the lessons of democracy, how, how things got to be the way they were and then were protect, uh, uh, practitioners in it, uh, I don't believe that they're going to have what it takes to meet the challenges. And, um, so my irritation is, is with this sort of cultural crisis that's come, which is a threat to our country. Uh, you see uh, it stretching far beyond just the question of agriculture. Well, yes. Uh, but look, I mean, the thing about food is that it's unimportant to people until they go without it. Yes. And uh, then it becomes the most important thing that, that, that they can think of. Uh, so this uh, willingness on the part of one administration after another, for instance, to export food and not even think about how we're going to get the nutrients back, or to, uh, in some cases with corn, I guess, it's five bushels of soil being lost per bushel of corn produced. I mean, how can anybody in the USDA or land-grant institutions um, be satisfied with almost anything going on in agriculture with that kind of a loss? Mm -hmm. I mean, where in the hell is our, our, is our mind, mm -hmm. our national mind on this type of thing? So, uh, um, 
my irritation <laughs> that shows up in those. I, the, the ratio of irritation to delight uh, is uh, highly on the side of uh, irritation, irritation in, the, yes. in that uh, and, book and, of reading. And yet in that same book you wrote, and I quote, that the USDA has the greatest potential of any or institution for defining the vision of a sustainable agriculture. Right. And do you still believe that? Are you still hopeful? That well, not I'm... Not the vision, the mission of a sustainable I'm agriculture. I'm hopeful, but I'm not optimistic. Mm -hmm. And I think part of it has to do with the s scale. You know, that... Um, um,